Hi, folks. I'm Steve Adubato. This is a very special event. Yes, it's virtual, but no less special. This is the 25th Russ Berry Making a Difference Award ceremony. Now, listen, of course, because of COVID-19, um, we can't be together this year. Cross our fingers next year we will. But this year we're doing this virtually. 1997. 1997 was the first year that the Rustbury Award started. Um, let's go to 2021. So that's 25 years. Get these numbers. These numbers are powerful. These statistics are staggering in a good way. Over 3,800 unsung heroes have been nominated. 380 individuals have been honored from every corner of the state. And $3.75 million have been awarded in these presentations and these award ceremonies that, by the way, by the way, I've been honored to have been moderating and hosting from the beginning. Now, some of the nominations came in before the pandemic. Some of them came in after the pandemic, but all of the nominees, all of those who we recognize in this virtual event are making a huge, huge difference in their communities. Let's take a look. Lynn Regan of Farmingdale founded CFC Loud and Clear Foundation after witnessing her son Dan's agonizing struggle with addiction. She created a successful relapse prevention model that has helped thousands of young people achieve long-term sober living. He'd been to so many treatment centers and every treatment center he went to, he came out a better drug addict with more individuals that he can hang out with. This system is going to kill him. So what is what can I do? I sent him to this different place. This different place changed his life. It changed his life. But in the end, it's only 28 days long. I mean, you're not fixing somebody in 28 days. So this is a lifelong journey. I started talking to all the aftercare specialists in the rehabs that he had been to. And I know from this rehab, this resonated. And from this rehab, this resonated. So I'm like, okay, we're gonna put together this aftercare program for you, Dan. So we did this and we did this for a year. And within that year, he was sober and his friends were coming to Dan at my kitchen table going, dude, how are you sober? Can you please help make a plan for me? And we started a sober social community of full of uh, sober social activities, uh, meetings, and reco literally recovery plans to help hold each other. It's an accountability program. And now we're 15,000 families deep for an aftercare program. And what it's doing is rebuilding lives one, one at a time.